This is going to be the fastest rocket ever. 3, 2, 1, launch. This is not the fastest rocket ever. Today I am building the fastest rocket in SFS, creating a tower of rockets and testing which is heavier. So keep watching. My goal is to get to 4000 meters per second. And if I fail, I am no longer epic. I'm starting to go faster. Not fast, but faster. This rocket was a bit of a failure, but it's my first try. Soon they will become way faster. 740 meters per second is not bad, but we can do better. What if I put a bigger engine on the rocket? This is already better. We've already passed the previous one in speed. 600 meters per second, 700, 800, 900, 1000 meters per second, 1200. Oh, out of fuel. But 1200 meters per second, that's a lot better than the previous one. It seemed like this strategy of just putting a bigger engine on the rocket worked. So maybe, just maybe, a genius idea, I know, would be to a... Uh, bigger engine. 3, 2, 1, launch. Bruh. I didn't activate the engine. This works a lot better. It's going so fast. 700? This one is going to win for sure. No fuel? Only 700? The previous one was 1200. My bigger engine strategy wasn't working as well anymore. I wasn't expecting this to be honest, but I think I know the solution. Bigger engine. This looks absolutely ridiculous. Launch. 200? 300? 400? 500? Out of fuel? They just keep getting worse. What if we simply add more fuel? Let's try to get at least 1200 meters per second. 300? 400? 500? 900? 1000? 1300? 1400? 1500? 1600? My rocket exploded. It was way too hot. So this is going to be a bit of a problem. If I go too fast, my rocket will simply burn up and explode. Which, as you might guess, is not good. If I couldn't fix this issue, making the fastest rocket would be completely impossible. Fortunately, I am a genius. So this is not going to be a problem for me at all. Here's my brilliant solution. Cheats. No heat damage. My brilliant solution worked perfectly. It's gonna explode! Wait, it's not exploding? 2100 meters per second. Now that's fast, but still not fast enough. Now I could make a truly fast rocket. 2100 meters per second. But wait, I forgot to include parachutes. I am going to die! No! No! Wait, heat damage is disabled. I'm invincible! Nothing can kill me! Except for that. That did kill me. But how could I become even faster? Two rockets. This will be great. Bruh. They're not connected. Fix it. It's not going faster, but it has twice the engines. 2400 meters per second. Only a bit faster. Wait. It has twice the engines, but also twice the weight. So of course it's almost the same. My record was now 2400 meters per second. It was good, but not even close to 4000. I would no longer be epic. But if I could add two engines, why not add way more? This will take a lot of time. So in the meantime, let's do some experiments. Which do you think will be better? The one with the nose or the one without the nose? And the one with the nose is clearly faster probably because it's like aerodynamic right it's going so fast it's almost burnt what was that something flew through the air one big engine versus two small ones three two one launch the one big engine is clearly better but wait the one engine is using more fuel so maybe the other one will overtake it eventually it might happen soon there it was. The two small rockets are slower at the start, but at the end they go way faster because they just use less fuel. And now, a sideways nose versus a straight nose. Launch. Not much difference. Oh, the straight nose is better. And now, just to see what happens. They're moving closer. They're gonna collide. Wait, they bounced? I didn't know rockets could bounce. They're back together. The two small rockets combined into like one big rocket. That's pretty epic. What's gonna happen if I slightly push the other rocket? No, he's going faster. He's escaping. What was that? What just happened? While flying through the sky, I hit a mysterious object. And maybe if you keep watching, you'll find out what that object is. Now back to the many engines. It's still going? This is taking so long. Let's check back in a few more moments. How many rockets can I stack? One, two. This is more difficult than it looks. Three, four. I'm afraid it's going to fall over. Five, six, seven. It's still standing. Eight. Let's see if I can reach ten. Nine. We're almost there. Ten. I did it. Wait. Wait. It's unstable. No, everything is falling down. No, the tower has collapsed. But at least I got to 10. Back to the many engines. Finally, it's done. This is the fastest rocket in the world. Nothing can be faster than this. 3, 2, 1, launch.
It exploded. The rocket exploded. I wasted all this time building the rocket only for it to explode. It's not as fast as I hoped it would be. 130 meters per second. Oh, no, it's it's 150. This has to be the worst rocket ever. This was the biggest failure of my entire YouTube channel. No one in the world has failed as much as this rocket. I can't believe this actually happened. There was only one way to reach my goal of 4,000 meters per second. I contacted a mysterious figure known as the SFS Hacker. SFS Hacker, I need your help. If I don't reach 4,000 meters per second, I am no longer epic. That is disastrous. I need you to make me a faster rocket. Sure, but a price will have to be paid. What price? You will find out very soon. He started working on the better engines, and while waiting for him to respond, I did some tests. Which one is heavier? A small fuel tank or a big fuel tank? You may think you know the answer, but the actual answer will astonish you. The big fuel tank is heavier. But seriously, which is heavier? The capsule or the nose cone? The capsule. A normal or a diagonal nose cone? The diagonal one. Six small engines or one big engine? The small engines combined are bigger than the big engine, so I think they are going to be heavier. Wait, no, that's not true. The big one is heavier. And now, finally, two probes or a capsule. The two probes are pretty clearly heavier. So those are the comparisons. Another funny thing to do. Capsule, large fuel tank, high into the sky. This is going to be epic. Catapult! Okay, maybe it wasn't that epic, but it was still pretty funny in my opinion. And then, I received a message. The engines you seek have been added to your game. Use them wisely. He had added faster engines to my game. What about the price you mentioned? Look in your Discord server. SFS Hacker had made a channel called Hashtag BP Submissions, where all of you can submit your best blueprints, and I will try them out in a future video. The link to join is in the description. SFS Hacker had added a few engines to my game. Firstly, we have the giant engine. It's huge. Now let's add a fuel tank and capsule. This has to be the fastest rocket ever. And oh, it's it's working. It ran out of fuel. Only 300 meters per second. Next up, he sent me two of these. This is using a lot less fuel, but it's also a lot less fast. So this is even worse. SFS hacker, you said the big rockets would be epic, but they're not epic. They're not epic at all. But he had sent me one last rocket. <laughs> This is our last hope. If this one wasn't fast enough, I would not be epic. I added a lot of fuel. 35 fuel tanks to be precise. This has to work. 3, 2, 1. It's working. It's going fast. It's going faster. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. I did it. And I got 4,600 meters per second. So this is probably the fastest rocket in the game. Look at those burn marks. It totally got burned. But I did it. I am still epic. <laughs>